is as lovable as a real girl. And she talks like one, too. Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? I'm a real girl. Just like you. Perfect! Thank you. You opened my case. Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. factory? Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? Right. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand. Uh, it's just hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't find stupid Huggy Foxes! His name is Huggy, Huggy Wuggy, when he hugs you, he'll never stop. <laughs> Huggy Wuggy. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of...